been here a year and a half. She was born like six months before that. We've been here a year and a bit. Well, in May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Was she born? In November. So five months. Five months what? June to July, August, September, October, November. We've been here a year and a half. I was in May. Um, so a year and five months? So now is Luna only two? Two. You sure? Sure. I know, I just did the math, but... I mean, we weren't even thinking of breeding her when we moved, and so she would have been like six months old. Wow. For some reason, I thought it was like the year before that we moved. No, because I mean, that's the reason we get ladybug bred for so long as we started moving. Mm -hmm. going to get a couple chairs and a sleeping bag or two and make ourselves a little bit more comfortable out here. But I think it's going to be a long night. Waiting for that water bag to come out. Okay, I'll be back. progress. It's making me a little anxious. So I think I'm going to wash up and glove up and go in and see if I can feel what's going on. Not what I wanted to do, but better safe than sorry at this point. I, yeah, I think Cody said you can do no damage going in. You can go in a hundred times. You're not going to mess anything up. And Cody Krillman. So I should be wearing my Cody shirt. Oh wait, he never sent me. You better give me a shirt and a homage. Those are like a man's size. He got that again. He got a feather this time. That was great. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Bad. 
is right there. Yeah. Okay, water That's progress. What'd you call the vet? Okay. How come? I'm doing it, but... I just don't know. Hi, this is Austin Martin. Uh, you were down at our farms not too long ago. Our calf, or our heifer is uh, giving birth and she seems to be having some trouble. So we were hoping to get you out here tonight to see what we could do. We, uh, Loon, our our, uh, our mini Jersey here, is, she's been started labor early, first stage labor around five o'clock today. She's just not sure, you know, this is the first time we've dealt with the first freshener and we never had to go in on a cow, she only had gone in with the goats. So she's a little bit concerned it's not progressing enough and was hoping to get you out here. Uh, babe, can I give you the phone so you can chat real quick to tell what you felt? Hi. I I can feel feet in the nose. I just you know when I go in, it's a uh, I feel like a big bubble when I put my hand in. Except the sack that the calf's in.
baby. Oh yeah, that cap's alive still. Come on, Cappy. Oh, come on. There we go, come on. Yep. Come on. Yeah, baby, yeah, baby, yep. Okay, yes. Oh, damn, yes. Welcome. Welcome, you little thing. Oh, live. Oh, man, baby. Hi, right, little one. Yeah, is that okay? man oh man that was like <laughs> I just I did not enjoy that you didn't no <laughs> no no you're right yeah okay <laughs> yeah I'm good I just mm. it's scary oh it was scary she did good though I mean I just, were we just worried because we're noobs getting about worried? getting her out that was a tight fit that was a tight squeeze you know, what you hear so many times is air on the side of caution, right? Like, yeah. Like, Everybody's good. Has it been long? Too long? And that's what Dennis said to me. He's like, you know, I, I'd like to let things take its course, but I've wound up with dead calves. So. We were chatting with a, a dairy farmer that... Uh, that we got our milker from. Dennis. Yeah. Farmer Dennis. Farmer Dennis. Shout out Farmer Dennis if you're watching. Getting good advice from Farmer Dennis. Then we upgraded to uh, okay. calling the vet. Had to, it's after hours, so you had to do the over hours phone call and track down the on call number and all that, wait for the call back. So it took a little while. I just wanted to get the calf out. Oh, you know, the man. vet was saying he was pretty chill about it all. He's like, yeah, give it 10 minutes of traction with some bailing twine and yeah, it did not come out easily. <laughs> that was like some serious pulling. Oh, yeah. You. What was that about? Guess we could have gone bike riding. Hey! Oh. Oh, dry stuff? Hey! 
That, that thing had some life. That Luna was a sponge too. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Funny, this is a different experience for you and me. I feel like. It's scary. Yeah. I mean, I'm inside there like, what, what is happening? It's like, am I, and you're like, am I doing this too soon? Should I just wait? Is the cat dead already? Like, am I gonna hurt something? It's so scary. Cause like, what was all that water? Cause she still had a ball of water in there. Maybe she just peed all over you. <laughs> pretty nice. You're pretty though. That's a pretty cat. And you get feel like, okay, where are these feet? Like nothing feels like the way it looks. <laughs> it's always like, in, yeah, it's like try to find something in a bowl of jello. Like <laughs> just your hand. Mm. What do you think, Luna? That's your baby. That's your baby. Luna's doing real good with her. I'm impressed. Wow. That's a big calf, though. Look at the size of that calf. Mm. You gotta you that, weigh her right away. Yeah, I bet you that calf weighs like... 50 pounds? Shoot. Who weighs 50 mm. pounds? Or? A bag of feed. Mm. Mm. The other one? 